Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Tell Latitude 5310 or what you actually can upgrade on it. And of course we're gonna have a closer look on the components and obviously you're gonna see how you can open up this machine as well. First things first you need a very standard Phillips screwdriver like I'm using there. Actually this is a great tool it's 57 in 1 so it's gonna be useful for other jobs as well. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you are interested in one. They're cheap enough I promise. You have to loosen all the screws on the back panel, they don't come fully out, so just loosen them and you're ready to lift the back panel. I'm using kind of a plastic tool like that there. If you don't have one, I recommend using something plasticky or just use your fingers. I don't recommend using knives or screwdrivers or anything like that, you will break your laptop or you can damage your fingers as well by the way, so take your time, take good care, it doesn't take you long to get it off, it's probably less than a minute and it should be off. As you see it comes off easy enough now. You just have to put a bit of pressure there and that's it. There we go, it's, it's off now. A bit of detail there as well, latitude 530, 5310 sorry. And a bunch of other little uh, details there as well. Inner look on the back panel as well. Just in case, I don't know, you may be looking for spare or you just want to see how it looks like. There's a battery, we're just gonna go over a few, few details there. Battery with serial number as well, if you're looking for a second battery or new battery. That's your battery connection. Your Wi-Fi card, Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth. These specs could be a little different now on your laptop. I'm just going through what's on this one. That's your CPU fan. And under that is CPU there, of course. It's Intel i5 10th generation. Not a bad CPU, it's quad core, so pretty okay. That's your RAM slot number one, 8 gigs in it. Both RAM slots have 8 gigs, so in total at the moment, there's 16 gigs on this laptop. After upgrading, hopefully, we're gonna have 32 gigs. Hopefully. That's your second slot now, with 8 gigs as well. It's pretty slow speed actually, 2400 hertz, megahertz. And under that is your solid state drive. At the moment there's 256 gigs. And hopefully this is gonna be upgraded to one terabyte uh, Samsung drive. We're gonna see it in a few minutes anyway. And we just closer look now on the components as well. That's your battery, battery connection there again, closer look. You won't see much, but that's your solid state drive. You'll see in a, in a bit now, a bit later. That's your RAM stick number one, RAM stick number two. Wi-Fi card, of course. CPU fan there again. Heatsink, of course, and under that CPU, as I said before. That's your DC there. By the way, it's not soldered to motherboard, so it's handy enough. If it breaks, you can swap it out easily enough without desoldering or soldering anything there. So it's great news, actually. Before you start upgrading, I do recommend disconnecting battery. It only takes you a few seconds. It's worth it. It might prevent you to not to short anything on motherboard when you're removing RAM sticks or removing solid state drive. Saying that though, I left it connected a few times and nothing happened either, so, but just for safety. That's your RAM stick number one, now 8 gigs. And that's your RAM stick, oh, oh yeah, that's your RAM stick number two, 8 gigs as well. So this is gonna be replaced 16 by 2, 16 gigs by 2, so 32 gigs in total after upgrading, so great news here. That's your RAM stick number one now, it's gonna go in, 16 gigs as you see, integral. Same thing, I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you are interested to go and get yourself same one. You don't have to, obviously, you can buy whatever RAM, DDR4, whatever suits you, whatever is cheaper for you. I don't know, I'm using this now. It does work, so you'll see it later anyway. I'm gonna boot to the windows after upgrading solid state drive, so you will we'll go over a few little specs there as well. And before you get to your solid state drive, you have to remove that little, um, I suppose, heatsink. There's a closer look on the screw there. That's two of them you have to remove and then the heatsink will lift for you. 
that's the second one now. Okay. That's how this bit looks like now. Yep. Bit of dirt there. And this one has smaller factor kind of a solid state drive. I'm I'm gonna show you now in a second closer look as well. That's another screw if you're interested how they look like. Hmm. Don't ask me size of it, I have no idea. There we go, that's 256 gigabyte. And I'm gonna replace that too with one terabyte drive in a second now. Yeah, looks awesome. Before you're gonna install the new drive, because new drive is longer, obviously, you have to remove that little thing there and place it to the further on. You see it there, yep. Because the new drive is longer, obviously, and otherwise it will have nowhere to attach. There, that's done. We are ready to put the new drive in. That's what I'm going to use. 970 EVO Plus Samsung. Great drives. You can get faster ones now. Newer ones, obviously, I have that. So I'm going to use this. Also, I'm going to leave the link in the description if you're interested in one. But as I said, you can get faster ones now. And uh, I'm not sure what prices are they now. But that wasn't too bad, actually. I bought that a while ago. So, And great drives, as I said before. Okay, nice and gentle. This little screw goes back and the, also the heatsink will go back on it as well after that. And same two screws what you took out, put them back in now and we're more or less done with upgrading after that. Of course, we have to connect the battery again. Do not forget that. I have, I made that mistake way too many times in the past. So do learn from my mistakes, I suppose. Connect it before you close the laptop again. That's it. Yep, that's the one now. Nice and gentle now, remember. No panic. There we go. That's done. Upgrading is done, 32 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte solid state drive, great news here I suppose. A lot of new laptops are not upgradable, maybe solid state drive, yes you can, but no, no RAM upgradable, but this one has both, so great news. And when putting back the back panel, just take your time, push it in, you can hear little clips there, and you can close the screws, then that's it. That's handy as well actually, screws stay in there, so I like these laptops actually, they're nice little machines. We're gonna boot into Windows now in a second once the back panel is attached again, so you'll see the specs there as well. That's it, we're done here anyway. And remember, you do have to reinstall Windows after you upgrade your solid state drive, so... Okay, I'm gonna go to this PC, right click on it, and just gonna go over a few specs very shortly now, that's all. Just to prove that 32 gigs works, that's Latitude 5310 as you see. Intel i5 10th generation CPU and there you have it, 32 gigs of RAM. Great news, awesome, will do me for years I suppose. I'm just gonna go to device manager now as well for a second and go over a few specs there. Just very shortly now. It's your disk drives there, there you go, there's a Samsung 1TB drive. Intel Ultra HD graphics and of course i5 CPU there as well okay guys hopefully this video was helpful if you liked the video if it was helpful press thumbs up and you know what have excellent life